Maganda umaga po sa ating lahat. So today we begin Holy Week. And uh, if we can sort of capsulize how we can best prepare for Holy Week, there are three significant words that can help us look forward to these days. The first word is quite obvious. Palms. Palaspas. Talagang pag dumadating po yung uh, uh, linggong ito, Palm Sunday, as popularly called, and we have our fresh palms blessed. A little while ago, it was done. It actually tells us of what has been our journey since Ash Wednesday. If you recall, before Ash Wednesday, there was an announcement that was made in our parish churches. And what was that? Please bring your old withered palms to, your, to the church, to the parish, so that they can be burned and they can be the ashes that would be blessed on Ash Wednesday. I'm sure you recall that, no? Kaya yung iba po sa atin, ganun ang ginawa. And true enough though, this was done. And again, if you recall on Ash Wednesday, when ashes that were blessed were imposed on our foreheads, no? Uh, what did the priest say? No? From dust you came, thus you shall return. No? Or in you know another formula is, Turn away from sin and believe in the gospel. The palms are very symbolic no? because they basically tell us that we have completed a certain cycle from Ash Wednesday to Palm Sunday. The withered palms that were burned, ashes now that were blessed, imposed on our foreheads, now what we have are no longer withered palms, but fresh palms. Di ba? Mga sariwang palaspas. Yan po yung uh, hawak po natin na nabindisyonan. And I'm sure if we recall again no, the, the gospel, no, the first gospel that was proclaimed, um, palm branches were waved. No? Uh, when Jesus entered Jerusalem, and they hailed him with all their hosannas, no? hailed him as king. Uh, that I think is significant because I think the waving is also, if we try to contextualize this today, is perhaps the invitation of the Lord for us. No? If we truly hail Jesus as king, Hail him as Messiah, as he would be entering no? uh, the place where he will fulfill his mission with fresh palms. This should be our not only disposition, but our identity. No? Kasi sabi nga, from old palms to new palms, from old self to new self. Kaya nga ang hamon po sa atin, di ba, yung hawak nating mga palaspas na sariwa, yung pagbabagong buhay natin kay Kristo. Pagbabalik loob sa Diyos. And I hope this disposition during the whole 40 days of Lent that will actually end in the morning of Holy Thursday, no, will be not only a dream, but a dream come true, it will be something that we will be serious about. That's why we turn away from sin and we say, I believe in the gospel. I want to be changed. I want to be on the road to conversion. Deep in my heart, we are telling the Lord, I want to be renewed and afresh again, like the fresh palms, because it is you, O oh Lord, that should be number one in my life. You are my King. 
The second word is passion. Kaya nga ang tawag din sa araw na ito, hindi lang Palm Sunday talagang uh, looking at our uh, uh, in strict terms. It is called Passion Sunday. And we will understand that because uh, when we enter this Holy Week, we again recall and contemplate on the Passion of Christ. This is basically what we listen to in our readings. The first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah, one of the uh, four suffering servant songs. No, uh, we always look at this Old Testament text, no, and see it, no, in the light of no, uh, Jesus Himself, no, the suffering servant Messiah. Our second reading from Paul's uh, letter to the Philippians also. Tell us, no, this uh, famous Christological hymn of the early Christians, no, uh, that we must, in a way, inculcate and imitate Christ, no, who stripped himself of being God, no, who humbled himself, became man, became a slave for us, and suffered death, death. On a cross, and that's what we heard in this dramatic reading of the gospel. No? We once again recalled the passion of our Lord, yung kanyang mga dinaanan, and this is actually the version of Mark in this cycle of the liturgical year. Kaya nga magandang isipin ano po, no? Um, you see, we have 40 days of Lent, and we will have what we call a bridgeway of three days from Monday, Thursday, going to Good Friday, and as they say, uh, Holy Saturday or Black Saturday, moving into the Easter Vigil. Diba? No? Magandang tignan. And we call this the Paschal Triduum. No? Because we will once again, no? even in the liturgies, no, contemplate on the suffering, death, and resurrection of our Lord. But it is not enough no, that uh, we know that as we once again look at this word passion, um, in the head we know that this Holy Week, we will contemplate the passion of Christ. We should participate in this experience of the passion of Christ, not only this coming, this Holy Week, but you know, in our own lives. Kaya nga magandang isipin, ngayong bang uh, Holy Week, saan ka ma makikita? Saan ka ba pupunta? Siyempre, pagdating ng Holy Thursday, bakasyon po yan. Iba sa atin, uwi ng probinsya, uh, doon siguro tayo mamamanata, no? Talagang mamamahinga tayo, but do not forget, no, that these are holy days. Sabi nga natin, mga mahal na araw, no? At alam natin kung gaano kamahal ang inalay ng Diyos sa atin, no? Ang kanyang katawan at dugo. Ganyan na lang niya tayo kamahal. Kanyang dakilang pag-ibig para sa ating lahat. No? So, I hope you see, Passion Sunday is already a preview of what we will contemplate on and what we are called to be serious about as we in our lives as Christians should participate in the Paschal Mystery of Christ. The final word is presence. No? I, I use this word because I think what we will actually experience not only the, during this Holy Week but as we move forward beyond Holy Week is the loving presence of God in our lives. No? And we will see that no, not only in our liturgy, especially when we celebrate the Easter Vigil. Very powerful symbols, no? On the mother of all vigils, no? Sabi nga natin, meron po yung uh, four parts, no? Yung una, 
yung service of the light. Kasi we will see and experience the presence of, presence of Christ no? uh, as light. As we light and bless the Paschal candle. And this Paschal candle will be submerged where? No? Uh, in water that will be actually blessed. And then the second part is the liturgy of the Word where we have the long readings and we will reflect on the Old Testament readings, the New Testament readings, and here we will feel the presence of the saving love of God, not only in the people of Israel then, but also now in our own lives as Christians. And of course, the third is either the liturgy of baptism, may mga bibinyagan po dyan, no? O kaya, meron din pong uh, kukumpilan pa rin kasi pag matatanda na, diretsyo ng kumpil. And the renewal of our baptismal promises. No? No, kanina, nagwisig po tayo ng uh, uh, mga palm branches, di ba? Sa Easter Sunday lang po, magwiwisik na naman ng holy water. Pero tayo na po yan, reminding us no, of who we are as Catholic Christians recalling when we were baptized and we received the grace to become sons and daughters of Christ. Kaya nga dyan, there will be the renewal of our baptismal promises. And we will feel once again how God loves us because we are not only human beings, but we are His sons and daughters, co-heirs of the kingdom of God. Tagapagmana po tayo ng langit. Because of our baptism, imagine the love of God He made us part of His own family. And then the final part of that Easter Vigil is the liturgy of the Eucharist. And that is where we concretely experience the loving presence of God. No? Pakikita po natin yan, no? kasi... Diba every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we receive the bread, the wine that becomes the body and blood of Christ. We receive Jesus. Tinatanggap natin siya. Siya'y suma sa atin. No? That's why we call it Holy Communion. He communes with all of us, those who receive Him. Whether it be physical communion or spiritual communion, and that is how much he loves us. He wants to be present in our own lives. That's why His suffering did not end in death. Kaya nga, we know His death moved into His promise fulfilled, the resurrection. Tayo nga, no? Napakaganda ng tradisyon sa atin na ipinagkaloob ng Vatican. Pagdating ng madaling araw, ng linggo, meron po tayong salubong, di ba? No? That will be around 4 a.m. And during the salubong mass, no, we dramatize the meeting of uh, the resurrected Christ, the image, and the image of Mary, the sorrowful mother, magtatagpo. Saan siya una nagpakita? na siya muling nabuhay sa kanyang ina. At sinasabi nga sa, niya sa kanyang ina, eto ako, hindi ako basta namatay lang, ako'y nabuhay, muling nabuhay. Ganyan niya kamahal ang kanyang ina. At gano'n niya kamahal tayo. So you see, when we move from the Lenten season to the Paschal Triduum, then we have the celebration of Easter. And you know, you will see the presence of God because Easter is 50 days. Limampung araw. And it ends on Pentecost. But take note, you know, I encountered this book. No? Actually, two books siya ni. Yung unang book, 40 days plus 3. Kasi 40 days of Lent and 3 days of what I shared to you, the Paschal Triduum. Pero yung sequel niya, ang ganda ng title. Alam niyo ko ano? 50 days 
plus forever. Ganda, no? Because that is actually how God wants to make His loving presence felt. His rising from the dead is telling us, may forever. Even though we die here in this earth, it will be a forever experience in eternal life in heaven. Three words to guide you as we enter Holy Week. Palms to symbolize that we are called to renew our lives, renew our faith, become a fresh Christians before Jesus, whom we hail as King, as we sang our Hosannas. Second passion, we will contemplate this Holy Week, the passion of Christ. But you will see in this passion, His suffering, death, and resurrection, we are called to participate in it. This is not something that we just recall and celebrate. It should be the celebration of our lives. And third, presence. Know that as we move forward, even at the end of Holy Week, we will celebrate the glory of Easter, the joy of Easter. Because the Lord is telling us, yes, I will suffer, yes, I will die, but I will rise again and live forever in you. And that's why we should no longer fear sin. We should not fear death because that will be temporary. Christ has become victorious forever. His love being presence will be with us. Amen. Amen.